I am Charles Madawichi and uh, I make videos about travels, lifestyle, blog and I also make videos where I feature people who are willing to share their stories on some of the ways they have been able to stay afloat in an environment just like Estonia. Hey guys, what's up? How are you doing today? And welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be having Umunna George, and um, he is one of the most influential fitness professionals in Europe. So he is currently based in Tallinn, Estonia. He is a fitness trainer with an immense experience when it comes to fitness and wellness. Not just because of his amazing physique but for his character and high standards um, of engaging others when it comes to keeping feet. He has also featured in a couple of movie shoots, music videos, and also he is a model. So guys, before we go into today's video, let's give a shout out to our today's sponsor, Gungluri Afri Kitchen. Are you in Tangi or anywhere in Estonia and um, you're craving for a taste of Nigerian dishes? Well, not to worry guys, Gungluri Afri Kitchen got you covered. Gungluri Afri Kitchen is a mobile pastry kitchen that provides you with all kinds of Nigerian snacks and cooked meals. At an affordable price for more information check out the contacts on the description welcome mr george how are you doing today thank you so much my brother thank you for having me thank you thank you for coming regardless of your busy schedule and everything always a pleasure to it's so nice to see you again thank you bro thank you so guys we have uh, mr george and um, could you tell us um, who is um, george Muna? Okay, as you know, um, a very simple person, mm -hmm. but more often a go getter. Mm -hmm. Whatever I said to do, I give my best. Mm -hmm. But above all, to listen to my things, keep very important. Whatever we do, how it can impact and affect the next man is very important. So, just a simple fitness guy <laughs> trying to be good and also spread spread our health and uh, the fitness to other people. Okay. So you made mention of um, fitness. So to you, what is your definition of fitness? What is fitness to you? Okay, good. Uh, in simple terms, like I always tell most of my clients, fitness is finding your own body and staying healthy in it. Mm -hmm. All right. Finding your own, how comfortable you feel, or how comfortable you want to appear, but still feeling healthy and happy, because all we have is this. The vehicle that's going to carry us through life is this entity, this body we have, and um, how we're able to, you know, to take care of it determines how far we go before feeling our purpose and you know. Nice, nice. So, as a gym instructor, what qualifications do you have for that? Okay, um, presently <laughs> I have uh, two certifications mm -hmm. in the fitness, then I also have two other certifications as far as life and coaching is concerned. So, mm -hmm. I have the uh, fitness certificates for trainers, alright, and I have a diploma in food. And nutrition. Oh, nice sports. Yeah, it's for sports. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. So this fitness, uh, fitness thing, how did it all start? Again? Okay, um, started um, way back mm -hmm. from Nigeria. Seriously? Yes, of course. Yes, of course. But uh, professionally, like three years ago, two years ago, two to three years ago, 
and this was practically during the pandemic. Uh -huh. You know, I have this awesome friend of mine, Mr. Folare. Um, yes. Someone? Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Mr. He just said to me, George, you have this, you have this. Just give it life. You know, start to work on it. So we started by just um, talking to a few friends during the pandemic to come online on Zoom. Mm. Let's see what we can do. And of course, I will be shy. <laughs> I will be a bit more confident. But gradually, we start pushing it. We started the first one. We just jumped up and down. Everybody was doing some push up. And I realized that for people were, after the training, people felt so good. They felt so energized. Then I was personally prepared. I was looking forward to next week. Mm. And gradually, pandemic was over. People were enjoying it. And they started requesting for us to you know, go to the gym together. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I remember and, uh, back then when um, we started, and that was during the pandemic, you know. I also joined the, 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 the your live video when it was so nice. But, but then, I was going to ask you, what has brought you this far? Mm. In the when, fitness, right? Yeah. Oh, awesome. So again, um, like I started the discussion, I said doing things and impacting the next man. Mm -hmm. I think we all we all derive this joy from this. When somebody feels good from you know, from your effort, or when somebody feels better, or they tell you, I ah, enjoyed that. Can you give them more? Of course, it brings us. Maybe not all of us, but most of us. Mm -hmm. So personally, for me. It has always been this. The, the, the drive for me has always been the people looking up to me, people looking up to me, even in life generally, right? So coming to the fitness world is more of how people feel after the exercise. Mm. But personally, for me as well, how my body turns out to be after you know, a series of workouts. So initially, when I started, it was not easy at all. At yeah. some point, I felt like, why am I doing this? But the more I proceeded, the more I continued, and I saw the development of me, my body, mm -hmm. my muscle. Then I was convinced. You know, when you do a little thing, you see some result, you want to do more. Yeah. And there's a saying that says that just do it consistently. Yeah. 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 And that's what has led me to where I am. So, where do you see yourself in the next five years? Wow, this is a very big question for me. And, um, Mm -hmm. It has always been vision for me because before I probably assume this shape or yeah. before I become what I am, I see it in my mind. So answering your question directly, in the next five years, I see myself owning two, two to three different outlets of gym centers. Nice. Yes. Both home and abroad. Yeah. Both cool. in Europe, both in Nigeria. That's the spirit. Yes. Then also, probably I would have. Um, Competed in some bodybuilding competitions. Yeah, right, right. Of course, there's one coming up pretty soon. When is that? Uh, sometime in October. In October. Are you representing Nigeria or Estonia? Well, I will be competing in Estonia and I'm representing Nigeria. Nice, 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 nice. So, would you be um, inviting me to? Oh, I'll be expecting the invitation. Of course, I'm welcome. Okay. That's nice. I am so impressed with that. Thank so I, I have this other question. So in a society where um, all we do is work, 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 you know, um, how have you been able to gain clients, yeah. you know, gain their trust and also ensure that they also come back to you? So if I can better coin that question is, how am I able to manage my fitness business without well, my work? Yeah. Like, right? How, no, like, in this society, yeah, people work, like people are so keen on working, working, working. Okay. How do you um, gain those people to okay. give their work or uh, yeah, to motivate them to yeah, also to work and also to yes, go uh, to the gym? Okay, so um, it starts first with your results, mm -hmm. all right? And this is more reason why I put out a lot of content out there, yeah, to motivate beyond just uh, showing the muscle and showing the. Uh, should be motivating oneself, it's also to motivate other people through your result. Mm -hmm. So again, for a client to work with you, all right, it's not something you have to cajole them to do. You don't push them. They must have the, they must see the need to actually stay fit or come to actually be better. Mm -hmm. So when they come with this desire, it's now my job or it's now a job of fitness training to motivate them from that angle. All right. So for someone to have reached into you and say, George, 
I want you to train me, I want to lose some weight. They, they feel the need to do that. Mm -hmm. so they have come to you. So that is a stronger why that can help them and at the same time help you to serve them. So often time what I do, uh, most of the time job stress, life stress also could even make a client not want to turn up. Mm -hmm. So you just have to remind them that remember why we are doing this. And that's why you also as a trainer, you have to always be up and doing. You have to be committed to your commitment. And when you see this energy, you turn up and everybody smiles. Nice, nice, nice. So how do you think customer service is uh, important in this job? Oh, well, uh, at the moment, we have not really grown that much. Mm -hmm. But again, it doesn't mean that we don't exhibit or we don't practice customer satisfaction or customer mm -hmm. service at some point. So first and foremost, one of the key components is that Whatever you say you want, you want to do, mm -hmm. or whatever you say you will do, you must do it. Yeah. All right. Of course, we are human beings, and we are prone to. For instance, there are days that probably I, I turn up late, few minutes late to the to the, to the training. Mm -hmm. Maybe I had some other commitment somewhere. Of course, I write to them beforehand. I will be coming. I will come a bit late. All right. So customer service is more of number one, respecting and appreciating the time of the client. Mm -hmm. Whatever time you are going to meet, turn up appropriately. Whatever you have designed, whatever you have put in place to work with them regarding their fitness, you must follow that routine. All right. And also, feedback is very important as well because when you work out with this client, they may have some bodily reactions. You need to be open to get feedback from them. Yeah. All right. So that's where the customer uh, train, uh, I mean the client train trainer relationship comes to play. So you must even enable room to to talk to you. You are more like their doctor, the trainer like a doctor, mm -hmm. which are just into health and fitness, mm -hmm. right? So they talk to you, they explain, they even ask you questions, yeah. right? So that's how we are able to manage and be moving on. Hmm, that sounds nice. That sounds nice. Sounds nice. So what is your preferred style of um, encouragement? Well, um, first and foremost is to help the client themselves see the result on themselves, mm. right? So if they've come to me because they feel I'm a bit muscular or I'm this and that and they want that kind of look, of course you have to put them through the same program but in a very designed way, uh -huh. in a routine way. So when they begin to see results, there are times that even clients go home after two, three weeks of the training, they just open open up and maybe they want to take a shower and they just see some abs or they just see some muscular development in the chest and they will take a picture and send to me. Uh -huh. This on its own is motivation, all right? Mm -hmm. So, one of the, like I said, one of the basic way, one of the practical way to motivate your client is help them to achieve what you have achieved. When they see it, they will stay. Oh, they will stay. Nice, 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 nice. So, you as a fitness trainer, mm -hmm. how do you create your meal plan in order for you to be healthy? Okay, good. So, uh, know if you know that uh, the part of the world where we are. Most of our food components are not mm -hmm. available in our class of food, you know. But again, there are there are meals that you can substitute. Mm -hmm. For instance, back home, we used to the rice, the beans, uh, the plantain, and egg and stuff, you know. Different kind of fishes we have there. But here, we have limited. But at the same time, there are substitutes that could fit in for those class of food. But above all, more importantly, like I always say to clients, it's not about the food. It's more of the combination yeah. and the time you consume it. Mm -hmm. So you might be eating the best meal, the best meal that appears to be best to you, but eating it in the wrong quantity and at mm -hmm. the wrong time can still lead to what you don't want, all right? So no bad food, mm -hmm. all right? There is no bad food. Even if you decide to eat manka <laughs> or eba or whatever you like, in the right proportion with, you know, the, the appropriate quantity of soup and meat and fish, right? These will go a lot in doing your body more good than just saying you are going for salad <laughs> or you are going for uh, something you feel is just, but of course not in the right proportion. So that's what it is. So I'm always eating mana mm -hmm. and uh, my rolls do anything that has to do with fitness. Okay. Does that mean I'm going to get fat so they will fit for me? Good. So, it's a yes and it's a no. Mm -hmm. so, so it's in between. Yes. So I, 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 will, I will 
one side. <laughs> if you eat, if you eat that food yeah. at uh, probably at noon, mm -hmm. that you're very active, and yeah. of course you will digest it faster, all right? Mm -hmm. But if you eat it at night when you're about to go to bed, what do you expect? It stays in the system, mm -hmm. all right? So like I said, the time, the feed, and the quantity of the food matters a lot, mm -hmm. all right? So if you are trying to shed weight, for instance, I tell my clients, anything later than 6 o'clock, 6.37, don't put anything earlier. You could just snack, healthy snack, fruits, all right? And if um, I'm trying to help someone lose weight drastically, when the person is obese, of course, in this case, we have to measure the food and we have to design timetable for feeding. Breakfast is important, all right? Lunch is important, then dinner is optional. You could do light meals. Mm -hmm. So there are procedures, and if you want more of information on that, you have to enroll. <laughs> so one other thing, for for the viewers out there that uh, will be watching this, how do you and um, what is nutrition? How do you also um, advise them to stay fit and healthy? Okay. So maybe you could tell them about nutrition. Okay. So nutrition first and foremost. In, in layman words, in my own definition, is whatever you put into your system that does your body good. Alright? Let's let's still put fitness aside, alright? Nutrition, whatever we feed, whatever we put into our body and feed into our system, oftentimes helps us, alright, to live a healthier life. So if you decide to put um, toxic substance into your body, that's still nutrition, but it's gonna be to the adverse effect. Alright? So oftentimes the word nutrition from my own definition is putting things that will do yourself that will do your body good mm. all right things that will do your body good at every point in time all right and now comparing it with fitness of course in this case we're trying to be mindful of what you feel what you feel on depending on the stage you are mm. with your body all right if for instance you're trying to add weight for instance where people want to add mass then in that case there's a different kind of food they feed on and probably the different kind of workout they, they, they carry out. If you're trying to shed weight, of course, there's a different kind of food you, you consume and there's a different regime of exercise that you have to do. So nutrition in, and fitness together, it goes side by side and determines at the long run how your body turns out to be. Good, good, good. So, um, before we go, um, I know I'm taking most of the time. What is that one thing you would want to achieve? Um, achieve in fitness or yeah, achieve in, in life general? Fitness and also in life general. Okay. Um, impacting humanity to the best of my ability. Right? We all have our giftings and purpose. For, for me, purpose is using your gifts. For somebody else, it could be, it could be as little as cooking. Mm -hmm. For somebody else, it could be as little as, as uh, uh, maybe cleaning, right? Using your gifts to impact humanity such that you leave the world a better place. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right? So it's beyond just me, it's more of us collectively and you know, making the world a better place, better than if you let it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Thank you so much. Guys, I'm going to link his page below. If you are in Estonia and you need a trainer to push you above your limits, George Omuna is your answer and um, you should contact him. His phone number and orders is going to be linked below so you can easily reach out to him. So guys, that's all I, I have for you today. If you like this video, please subscribe to this channel, hit the like button and um, I would see you in the next one. Peace out.